everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, press the bell, that way you get notified when we release all of our videos. Today's video we're going to show you how we do just a little bit of shearing on Mariah Carey. And Mariah Carey had babies um, in the beginning of June. And so she has, we trimmed off her uh, belly wool, but we did not trim the top wool off her her coat on her back and her coat on her sides and so When we have been keeping track of the weather Keeping track of her coat keeping track of how everyone's doing outside We have heat right now and so it just is getting quite warm for Mariah Carey she would benefit from having the wool taken off. So in our in one of our most recent videos, we showed Arthur getting his fan put on him. It's just a small fan that we're using. And it doesn't take, it just doesn't take much to start out with to keep the bunny cool at the lower temperatures. However, we are, the temperatures are expected to get even higher. So they're expected to be around 80s today, but they're just gonna go up to upper 80s. There's humidity by us. And so it's really a situation where monitoring the weather and monitoring the rabbits, we start putting fans on or start trimming the coats off. So. She doesn't have much. Um, she doesn't have much for belly wool again because it was trimmed off. She had had, she had had babies. She's doing very well. I just trim up a little bit, just trimming up a little bit of her coat on her cheeks right now, between her ears. There's usually mats between the ears. That's a very common place for. Angora rabbits to have matting. That doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong and, and that doesn't mean your rabbits have something um, wrong with them. It's just a part of Angora wooled rabbits for the most for the most part. So she has quite a bit here. Quite a bit of quite a bit of wool. We just use our same Westcott Titanium 5 inch scissors that we always use. They're very affordable and they're very easy to keep sharp. We use the Fiskars uh, scissor sharpener. All in all, um, you can usually get all these, those two tools for less than $20. And they're available on Amazon. That's what we recommend if you're looking for uh, if you don't have that many rabbits or if you're looking for a shearing method that is more environmentally friendly, obviously um, using something like lithium ion battery blades, the clippers, that's, that can be something that's not as environmentally friendly. Or if you're trying to cut your costs down, it can just simply be more expensive to use the clippers and so if if you can start out with scissors and get good at scissors it really doesn't have to be a massive time consuming thing i like taking my time with my bunnies i don't like rushing we're going to do we didn't cut this down enough so these are what would be called second cuts None of it is, is useful. When I feel the skin, I can feel I didn't cut the wool uh, low enough. So I just go back and clip it low enough. It happens, not a big deal. Doesn't mean you're bad at clipping if that happens or anything like that. So Mariah Carey is a pretty awesome rabbit. She's a Harlequin and um, so she has an amazing color just within her coat. So 
I haven't spun her coat up yet and I'm looking forward to spinning her all these different colors up at some point. I'm trying to keep my wool separated here. The stuff I'll keep and the stuff that I don't keep. Just lots of little trims. We just keep trimming and keep trimming. Make sure we know where the skin is. It's always important. It's never about how fast to trim a rabbit. That's not, that's not the goal. Always take our time. Make sure we're calm. Because if I'm not calm, then my rabbit's not going to be calm either. If I'm stressed out, if I'm anxious, if I'm worried, my rabbit notice something's something's up, something's not right, and it doesn't it doesn't promote a good shearing session. Her baby bunnies have been crawling on her, which is quite common. And what it does is it starts to create mat webbing and then matting in her wool. And so we also, besides the heat, but we want to have usable wool for Mariah Carey. And when those babies are climbing on her, it, it ruins perfectly usable wool. So we don't want that. So that's another reason why we want to take it off. It's just not just not what we want to have happen. We don't want to ruin good wool. Our bunnies in the summertime get a lot of greens. We've been making a lot of videos explaining all the different nuances, the ins and outs of what we do with feeding our bunnies greens. All sorts of different types of greens. It's not just grass and it's not just um, dandelions. You know, there's a whole variety of greens that we can that we can feed our bunnies. So we've got we're by your tail right now, and that's always an area you want to be extra careful with because you can cut the tail and you can injure your rabbit's tail, which you don't want to do because um, you certainly can cut your rabbit's tail off, which sounds terrible. It is terrible. I've not done it. However, I've I've been aware that it there's accidents that happen. There are some strange things that happen with rabbits if you're raising them. Hello, hello, you've got a little cookie right there. You've got wool all over your face, Mariah. Oh my goodness. So it's air conditioned in the in the house right now. So she's there, there, there. She likes this. She likes that. Air conditioned in the house, so it's good temperature for her. She's not too hot. She's a little feisty right now. She was just um, just eating. I had given them some greens just before I took her in the house. So she's not she's not really sitting around much but I mean this is this is not bad movement for a rabbit. This is not difficult to deal with table's a little slippery. That's why we keep the, the towel down so she has more space, more, more comfy space to stand on. She's a very good rabbit. She's a very, very good rabbit. She's a very friendly rabbit. Very nice ears. I like her ears a lot. So we're just trimming up here. Just going little bits by little bits. We're in no rush. So, as you can see, we stop, we give her pets, we pay attention to her. We keep things on track, but we're not extremely strict about it. If she wants to hop this way or that way, we'll work with her. She's not 
not fully restricted from her movements. She still has, she still has choices in how she can move. And, and if she gets a little too feisty, then she, oh goodness. If she gets a little too feisty, then she has, she has the choice to, to also we can come back at another day and shear her. But because of the heat, that means she may have to stay inside the air conditioning. Because we don't want, we don't want her getting too hot. That's just no good. No good for Angora rabbits. I know some places certainly are above 80 right now. I've been talking to quite a few of you guys and here in different climates than, than I am certainly. And so everyone is paying attention to the, paying attention to their bunnies and the temperature and keeping everyone happy as best as they, best as they can. Which is very good. So we brought the nail trimmers in with us, and I'm not so sure I'm gonna, not so sure I'm gonna stop and trim. She's not gonna. Sometimes I combine the nail shearing in with the wool shearing in the same setting. Sometimes I don't. It all depends. With having a smaller rabbitry. It's one of the luxuries of being able to truly, truly tailor a lot of the experience to each of the rabbits. And when I had, there's times I've had many, many more rabbits, and it is quite a different rabbit raising experience to have a lot more rabbits compared to only, you know, a handful of, of bunnies. And I certainly prefer the personal attention that I can give the handful of bunnies over when I had more and more, more rabbits, because um, obviously, unless you pay somebody to start doing things, there's a lot of things to do, and it cuts into the, the quality time that you can spend with your bunny. So she wasn't blown before this, because we don't use a high-powered blower anymore. She doesn't need a high-powered uh, blower. It will leave a bit of dander in her wool so if you're somebody who wants all the dander out, then obviously a blower is gonna be more of the way to go for you, but um, for us, just proper housing, proper animal husbandry, proper nutrition has went such a long way and choosing, just choosing the types of, of rabbits, just, I have wool in my eyes, being very selective with the, the bunnies themselves has been helpful. Helpful in reducing the need for a, a blower. We'll just lift this up by your leg. Your back leg is where we're trimming right now. Her hair, her wool is quite different from Arthur's. Um, Hers is thinner because she doesn't have that high, high percentage of German. She's got German in her, but it's not as high as Arthur's. Now, Mariah Carey doesn't have Engl any English in her. Arthur is half English. So there's definitely differences in, in where they grow the wool and how they grow the wool. And um, she's... But she has, I love her, I love, she's got a great face. She really does have good well. She grows it long and fast. Arthur grows dense. But Arthur's a little bit older than she is as well. And there's always that difference between uh, what a doe produces for wool and what a buck produces for wool. There's always differences with that, even between, you know, the breeds and there's always differences. Since Mariah Carey's had a litter, there's certainly expected differences between her wool and um, if she were not to have a litter. So there's always, always different things going on and different things to consider. I can
can access a lot of Mariah Carey, her underside and by her tail. I can access a lot of this without even flipping her on her back, which is a very nice, very nice for sure. Certainly a lot of feeling with my fingers and looking with my eyes when I'm cutting by her back area here, by her tail. Very small clips. I don't want anything to happen. It's, even now, it's, rabbits can be twitchy and if they jump, I, sometimes I still jump, which always kind of makes me smile because I don't know how I thought I'd get significantly less twitchy, but I don't. Mary Carey has very nice, very nice colors in this wall. Nice, nice, bright colors. Some rabbits you can pluck. Um, some rabbits have to be shorn. Oftentimes I get asked a lot of questions. Um, is it better to shear? Is it better to pluck a rabbit? It it's, depends on the rabbit, what you have, what is their wool type, and it also depends on your personal preference. So just because I prefer rabbits that need to be shorn doesn't mean that's the only option and don't consider any other rabbit because you can shear a pluckable rabbit. You can, just because a rabbit's pluckable doesn't mean you only have to pluck them. However, just, it doesn't work in reverse with shearable rabbits. If a rabbit is just shearable, then it's just shearable like a German. You, you cannot, you cannot and you should not pluck a German because they're not molt, they don't molt, they don't release their wool all in one setting like a pluckable rabbit might or does. So here we go, going up. So Mariah Carey, if I were to wait, she, she can be plucked, um, but I just don't, I just don't want to. I like all at once getting the coat off and moving on, especially, again, especially when it's hot because the last thing we want is something to happen to the rabbit that can be prevented. And in the summertime or in the heat, it's preventable. The rabbit doesn't have to experience distress with being warm. That's not something that's necessary. It can always be, that can be prevented in proper care, proper monitoring keeping your rabbits healthy, keeping your rabbits happy, well-fed, good body type. Mariah Carey, at this point, when she has babies, she always just gets a little, she always gets more thin than I would prefer, but it's very normal because she's had babies and she's feeding her babies. She's working on weaning her babies right now. And they're quite persistent babies. They don't seem like they very much want to be weaned. They very much seem like they want to continue being fed by Mariah Carey, which I suppose it's quite normal. The babies do eat pellets. Her babies have been eating pellets. They have uh, fresh greens. They have access to all sorts of stuff as does she, which I've said before. She was just eating before I took her out, so she's, she's still doing well as we continue to slowly go up the sides because we're in no rush at all. We don't want to rush this. Get those nice controlled cuts in there. And that's what we like, definitely always checking her wool. When I feed greens to a rabbit, um, there's often debris like 
if it's grass and the grass has went to seed, then there can be grass seeds in the wool. But then again, just like with hay, if you feed a rabbit hay, there can be hay particles in your rabbit's coat and it's just quite normal. It, if there's hay and debris like that, you can prevent it by using a hay rack or, oh sorry, hon, a hay feeder. <laughs> See, I'm still jumpy. Um, but it's, it's not necessary. You know, you can just also monitor the amount of hay you provide your rabbit. I seem to always get angora in my mouth from talking and shearing at the same time. She has more, more debris in here. Those babies climbing all over definitely, definitely doesn't help keep her wool clean. She tries, but she has, she has her babies. And they are definitely rambunctious at times, and they kind of treat her like a, like a jungle gym. If you find you have a lot of these second cuts, if you just, when you cut the wool, you can either just pick them out or you can uh, just shake the wool. They'll come right out. And whatever you don't get out um, spinning, when you're spinning it, you can just hand, remove by hand. Some of it comes out if you use a drum carter. Some of it uh, falls out if you use a, the hand carters. Some of the d debris comes out. But in the end, it's... Um, I've been using a lot of the... When I spin now, I actually sold my drum carter. I'm not, not making bats anymore, which you guys might have noticed. There's no, there's no videos about the... Um, using the drum carter. We did lots and lots of videos, but when I focused back on Angora, I really don't use the drum carter for Angora much. And so for me, I the, the sort of yarn I really liked to make, the sort of yarn I like to spin, the way I liked it prepared, is I liked using the hand carters and making the loose roll legs and spinning from there. That's That's really, what I enjoyed making. So Mariah Carey's doing very well. I'm very excited. This is not taking long at all, even though we're going so slow. But she doesn't have a thick coat. The thicker your rabbit's coat, then naturally it just takes more clip it takes more clippings with your scissors. So it just takes longer for, for example, to hand clip a German, but then again, you get more wool off of that thicker coated rabbit. The thicker the rabbit's coat, the more wool you get, but also with scissors, the longer, longer it takes. So just some different things to consider. Wow, that was like a ton of second cuts. That was terrible, terrible cutting right there. A wonderful example of terrible cutting. We're by her, kind of by her bib. So a lot of loose, more loose skin here. Oh, you have fluff on your nose, my darling. We've pretty much got one side done. And we'll start working our way up the other side. So Mariah Carey's been shorn so many times before. Um, just a very nice, gentle, loving rabbit and she produced what I love is her and Arthur that kindness and that niceness they really pass that on to their their babies so they make when they they've got these great coats these great colors these wonderful little faces and it's just a wonderful combination I wish um ever so often I tell Arthur I did not breed Arthur um, I actually purchased Arthur from Raisin Buns Rabbitry years ago, and ever so often I'll try telling Heidi, I wish, I wish that I could, I wish I could get another Arthur from you. I wish I had another Arthur. But um, 
she breeds, she breeds German Angoras and English Angoras. She does a very good job. So since I don't breed um, German Angoras anymore, if you're around Michigan, and she does transport too, it just, you know, with the situation with the rabbit disease and just all the stuff going on right now, it's, I think, contacting her if you need a rabbit transport or looking for one of her, an English or a German, you know, that's the best option. If you're in southern Wisconsin, Mike and Michelle, uh, France, they have they they have Angora rabbits, and Michelle is the one of the district directors for the International Association of German Angora Rabbit Breeders. So she's she's a very good resource. Very good breeder. Lots of good rabbits. Getting towards the bottom on this side, which I know is, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm not gonna turn Mariah Carey because if she's fine sitting like this, then I don't wanna bother her. We're not gonna we're not gonna make this more complex than it has to be. If she's comfortable, then good for her. I get a lot of questions um, when people see the videos where I flip the rabbits over on their backs and I hold them to shear them. Um, sometimes they're sitting on the table. Sometimes they're sitting on my lap. I get a lot of questions. I, I always find the questions so interesting. People ask me if I sedate my rabbits or if I've drugged my, my rabbits, and they're valid questions because the rabbits are calm, but I don't. And anyone who's taken uh, the, the video course for Razzle Dazzle shearing method for how to shear your rabbit the way I shear my rabbits, if you want to learn, um, anyone who's taken that course, I give the full technical explanation and go into that, the, the entire details of how to hold the rabbit. The rabbit can still flip over and it's not hurting the rabbit. The rabbit's not um, in a trance. There's a lot of confusion about what it means to, to trance a rabbit and it's, it's quite commonly misunderstood and A lot of people think, oh no, this is harmful. The difficulty is if you've ever seen an Angora rabbit that's matted down to the skin underneath, there's some pretty terrible things that happens. So Angora rabbits are not made to keep their wool on. It's not how they're designed. And so I always wish there was better, uh, people had better access to information such as the actual accurate information about what really does happen when you place a rabbit and hold it to shear it. But I guess it's sometimes it's up to people to decide if they want to have, you know, if they want to put the time in themselves and actually learn about it or if they just want to kind of they're comfortable where they're at instead. They would rather not. They would rather not know the technicalities. But that's okay. Everyone has everyone has that little choice. Sorry, honey. The points of my scissors are sharp. So if I do if I do point her, that's you know, she gets a little, a little jumpy, which I would too. Oh, she's so pretty. Such a pretty bunny. Are you showing everyone how pretty you are? With your new little haircut. Whoops. And bumping the camera. Come here. So why don't we end it there? We've got most of her wool off. She should be significantly, she should be significantly cooler. She's such a happy, happy, wonderful rabbit with this. I love these ears on her. So I know I'm kind of talking about Mariah Carey quite a bit, but and how much I love Mariah Carey. But um She's just a good, wonderful rabbit. She came from Santee Field Farm. She did not come from here. She came from one of the Carolinas. 
she was transported a while back all the way here. So I didn't breed Mariah Carey, but if you want to check them out, she's got really, really good, nice rabbits. <laughs> so if you're looking for a rabbit exactly like Mariah Carey, she's the one to talk to. And if you're looking for a rabbit like Arthur, then Heidi Bengelink is the one to talk to at Raisin Buns. And if you're looking for a combination of Mariah Carey and Arthur, then I'm the one to talk to. So thanks, bye.